Everyone in this world has an idea of what their ideal partner looks like, what traits they have, and what they're most looking for in themselves. A majority of people would love to be wanted by someone, and if you have certain features, chances are you are one of the most attractive people to ever walk this planet. Hi, in this video I'm going to be sharing with you signs that you're a very attractive person. Keep watching. Welcome back, my name is Jessica. So today we're gonna to go into signs that you are a very attractive person. Maybe you're a man or a woman watching this video and you've always wondered whether you have that high appeal where the opposite sex is concerned. By the end of this video, I would have shared some ideas with you that would put you on the right path to becoming the best version of yourself and of course, more attractive in the process to the opposite sex. If you're ready for it, let's jump right in. Number one is you are independent. Now you have a mind of your own. You do not just follow the crowd. And indeed, if there's any following that needs to be done, most likely people will be following you because you are the pace setter and the trend setter as well. In your life, you just know what you wanna do and you are going for it. You have your dreams in focus, you have your life cut out for you, and you're pretty much on course, possibly financially and emotionally independent as well, which means that you're not necessarily depending on people to determine how happy or unhappy you are. You do know that if things are gonna happen, then it largely depends on you, your dedication, your time, the effort, persistence that you put in to whatever it is that you're doing. Number two, you don't run after anyone. You would rather invest your time and energy in chasing after your dreams than chasing after another person. You are so focused and goal-driven that you cannot simply lower your standards for just anyone to trample all over you. You're the kind of person who doesn't really care whether people like you or not. You know what you want and you go for it every single time without an apology to anyone. If there's any running after that's going to be done, chances are people are gonna be running after you you. Number three, you don't have time for gossip or small talk. Now, if you are that kind of person who just does not make time for people who are just trying to fill your air with garbage, really, then you should know that you have definitely arrived and that your attraction level is about to shoot through the roof. Because there are lots of people who fill their time their days with nothing but gossip and small talk, things that are not gonna get you anywhere fast. Now, when you get to such a point in your life where you are so focused and do not have time for small talk, you begin to realize that certain friends of yours no longer find your company interesting simply because you do not contribute to conversations that are meaningless and you actually value your time a whole lot. And so you shy away from conversations that aren't adding value to your life, making you money or teaching you something. At that point, you should know and acknowledge that you are one hottie. Four, you are honest and you respect people who are honest with you in return. You know, you get to a point in your life where you just realize that there's absolutely no point in flattering people. And I personally take flattery as an insult because flattery is usually telling people things that are not true about themselves only for them to feel better or to stroke their ego. Being brutally honest in the world we live in today can get you a lot of enemies. But at the end of the day, I also feel that at least whenever someone encounters you, they know for sure that you're not going to be bullshitting them or trying to butter them up for them to feel better about a situation that may not even make sense to you. People know that you're a straight shooter, your word is your bond, and they take you seriously. Now, honesty and trust are crucial things in any relationship and not necessarily even romantic relationships. But if people begin to see you as someone who they cannot trust, or if you say something, there's a 50% chance that you're not telling the truth, then your integrity begins to dwindle and nobody will want to interact with you or do any kind of meaningful business or have any kind of meaningful relationship with you if the opportunity presents itself. Number five, you love yourself and accept who you are. Now we live in a world where everybody's trying to change you. You're either too slim, too fat, too short, too tall, too bald, too much hair, <laughs> you know, and it's like the world is constantly judging you for who you are and what you're not. 
When you, however, get to that point where you do not need validation from the world, the people, or the society you live in, you should know that you are definitely onto something great. Because you see, no matter where you are, no matter what you do, there are always going to be people who try to tell you how to live your life. I can tell you this for a fact. One year ago, when I started this channel, I had many people tell me, what was the point of me doing that? Oh, other popular people in your country have tried going on YouTube and completely failed. Um, what do you think you're gonna bring to YouTube? YouTube is not like television or radio, you know? And even today, I have people in my comments telling me that I have no right to talk about relationships for one reason or the other. Here's what, I'm deaf to them. I do not hear them. I am so ambitious in my goals, in my vision, in what I'm trying to achieve, that I am completely unperturbed and unshaken in my ways. What I want, I usually get. And that is a trait that a lot of people do not have. I do love myself. I know I'm not perfect. I most likely know about the things that are imperfect about me. But at the end of the day, it's only my opinion that truly matters. I love who I am and you should too. Number six, you are not desperate for attention. Now all the attention you already receive in your life is based on your charisma, your successes you've chalked and so many other positive attributes about your personality. And indeed, wherever you go, you're able to command attention just because you have that kind of aura that draws people to you. You've honed your craft and you've developed your skill and you know exactly what you have to offer. You're not seeking for attention, but attention finds you wherever you go. Just because you are the kind of person who exudes confidence, you have been able to add value to people's lives in one way or the other, and people actually want to associate with the brand that you are. You don't get lost in your relationship. You have goals, you have dreams. Yes, you do want to live the rest of your life with this person who's in your life, or if you are single, then at the moment you're trying to maybe improve on yourself so that when you meet this other person, you are already a whole and you are joining up with their whole to form something really powerful. Number seven, you've established your priorities and you're not ready to bend them for anyone. You have your own life that goes beyond the relationship you find yourself in. In fact, whether you're single or actually in a meaningful relationship or marriage, you still manage to maintain your individuality. Your values are right up here. And if there are people out there who do not appreciate you for the values that you have, you simply move on and keep living your best life. Number eight, you know how to manage your emotions. Now, emotional intelligence is very critical in today's world. Emotional intelligence can get you further than any kind of gimmick will in today's world. We live in a world that's cold and heartless and you being able to know exactly when to apply the right emotion and at what time, depending on your circumstances, can put you ahead of the pack and put you in a very superior position to most people. You won't see an attractive person digesting and and, and moping about a relationship that did not work. They move on quickly because they know exactly what they're worth. Don't get me wrong, they still feel what they feel, but then they also work through it really fast to try to understand why that relationship did not work, why that venture did not work. And they apply this to every other aspect of their lives. Number nine. Now get this, something that really adds to your desirability is your intelligence. So if you're watching this video and you don't feel very smart for whatever reason, here is a quick tip for you. Purpose in your heart to become better. It just takes a couple of months to become an expert in almost anything. 24 months, 48 months, dig deep, dive in and learn something new. If you don't feel smart, Luckily, it doesn't have to be a permanent feeling. You can actually begin to improve yourself, improve your life, improve the lives of the people you meet, add value to people's lives, and they will begin to value you in return.
When you're intelligent, you maintain very interesting conversations, and you're also very open to hearing other people's perspectives on a subject of interest. Being intelligent is one of the most attractive things in the world. And indeed, the people who are just even, you know, attracted to people who are intelligent. It doesn't really matter what they look like, what they sound like, or how much money they have in the bank. Well, almost. Number 10. You are very brilliant in communication. Now, the words you use when you communicate with people leaves them spellbound. So much so that you tend to touch and win their hearts over. Being a brilliant communicator is not just about saying big English words that make you sound intelligent, but making sure that your message is well received by the people who are on the other end receiving or listening to your message. Speaking big English words doesn't necessarily make you intelligent because you could go through an entire sentence and people have to literally pull out a dictionary to understand what you're trying to say. If anything, you come off as a show off. I'm saying, if you're a good communicator, your words are clear, your actions are crisp. And at the end of the day, whatever message you're trying to communicate goes down really well. You also allow for dialogue. You let people speak and you value their opinions as well. You have healthy conversations, healthy banter, and people feel like when they are around you, they're actually heard as well. It's not just you trying to blab and show your knowledge in a certain field and, and sort of just leave everybody befuddled in your attempts to sound intelligent. When you're a brilliant communicator, it's usually a trait that a lot of people admire in you and makes you really attractive. I hope these insights were helpful. If they were, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel so you get a notification every single time I post. Today's video was for you. Thanks for watching.